What's up everyone? Today is Minimalist Monday in Super Autopad, so I decided to try out a work build. This is probably the only time I'm going to be running this strategy because I really dislike how scummy it is. In my eyes it can be even scummier than Vampire Bat. And ironically enough, I think it's strong enough that it actually counters the Vampire Bat builds. But uh, you'll see that later on in the run. For now, let me run down an explanation of how this build is going to work. In case you are unaware, the work is a unicorn specific pet and its ability is that it gains, um, whenever it gains mana, uh, it deals damage to the enemy. And for every one mana that it gains, it's going to deal one damage to the enemy. So if you give it 50 mana, hypothetically speaking, it can deal 50 damage spread out in uh, 50 different snipes to the entire enemy team which is extremely powerful considering the pets that we have available to us in customs so uh, yeah we're going to be combining it with a mana generating pet and i have multiple of those set up in the pack we have the mana hound which uh, obviously is very good i think a lot of people enjoy playing it uh, we also have the rock which is uh, one of uh, ref's favorite pets because he is a big fan of rock things even though uh, the rock pet has nothing to do with uh, rock synergies but whatever the case and uh, for the third unit we are going to be using for our minimalist build we are going to be using a uh, wolverine because the wolverine increases the damage of every individual snipe by 3 and uh, by 9 at level 3 so that is going to mean that every snipe out of a 50 damage or a 50 mana work is going to deal 10, 10 damage each so yeah you can deal massive amounts of damage uh, team wiping potential with this sort of build and um, relatively easy to construct uh, honestly speaking with you this is like my first attempt and uh, you can see I'm, I am getting very lucky right here getting a work at level 2, getting a cyclops to further help level up the stuff and uh, even though the matchup luck is kind of bad here we end up losing to grounded we also level up into a rocks which is a mana generating pet so yeah, I think I'm going to donate one gold to charity right here just to save up the free rolls for next turn. It's going to be more likely for us to find more rocks and cyclops so we can level up easier. And you can see the potential of this build is starting to show even from now, dealing massive amounts of damage even though the build is not set up at all. But we are going to get a big upgrade on this turn, getting the rock up to almost level 3 getting yet another cyclops on the team as well work is also going to get one xp which is going to be very helpful so yeah two of the puzzle pieces that we need for this build are basically set up and uh, the uh, wolverine is not even in the shop yet so we can't even fish for it for now we're just hoping to be winning fights and you can see it's actually pretty easy to win fights with this sort of build hopefully we get two more xp on the pets that we need we roll into a mana hound right here but we have already found our rock so we don't need to get another mana generating pet. I think for this build it would have been better actually to do use a mana hound rather than a rock because rock gives mana to all pets ahead of it whereas the mana hound just gives XP to the pet that is exactly in front of it. And you can see I have put a pineapple on the work as opposed to a um, donut. So uh, the mana is not guaranteed to go onto the uh, work, which is kind of unfortunate. But you can see, even if we don't hit all of the mana hits that we need, we are still wiping the enemy comfortably. It really helps that uh, whenever you uh, a unit with mana faints without it having used it, it's uh, going to end up becoming yet another snipe for the team which is uh, very pleasant here we get the level 3 work and you can tell that this is my first attempt because this is the first time i am getting the achievement for it and very luckily we end up leveling into a wolverine so i am going to put that in the team now we are going to start scaling it up with the monkey as well just to make sure that it doesn't get sniped at the beginning of the fight 
And uh, one thing that I actually managed to realize while playing this run is that you want to be having the walk up to a pretty high amount of attack so it can trigger before the enemy units and uh, wipe them before they can cause you any trouble. So yeah, uh, we are going to be leveling up the uh, Wolverine first, but after that, if given the opportunity, we are going to start scaling up the work with some uh, buy foods in the shop. Here we face a 50-50 on turn 10, but it's no problem for the mighty work, we end up wiping them easily. We are going to get a big upgrade on this turn as well, pushing the uh, Wolverine up to level 2.66, so all we need now is a single chocolate, and we do indeed get it. So yeah, now the um, Cyclops, oh, I was going to call it Ogre there for a second. I called out the Cyclops being called an Ogre in mistake, but now I'm doing it myself, but whatever the case. The Ogre, or the Cyclops, is um, Yop's lead to the team now, so I think we can get rid of it as we face a fellow similar team to us. But uh, we end up wiping them and you can see there the attack difference was actually massive. They had... Uh, six attack on their work, we had 10, so we ended up going first and wiping them without suffering any consequences. And uh, here something very similar happens, even though the Vampire Bat had the same amount of attack as the work, we ended up winning the 50-50 shot and we actually got the snipe. So yeah, I think I'm just going to transition into like a second scaler for the work so that we can make sure the snipes go off properly. Getting very lucky with the shop as well, getting yet another cow plus a waffle. It's going to be nice for us to find some equipment for the rock as well, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. It's not like really, we really want it to live. It's like an 11-11, which isn't horrible stats, but um, I think the work and the Wolverine are going to do most of the work, as you can see right here. Battle starts and we immediately wipe them. So yeah, no problem at all for this team. Here we get the monkey up to level 3 and we are starting to work on the cow a little bit. Getting the work up to 21 attack. Wolverine is going to go up to 50 HP on this turn which is super nice. I think we are going to be winning here once again. A Leviathan team spawning multiple 30-30 fish but uh, sadly they don't have any in battle abilities rather than the woodpecker so we end up wiping them easily. And uh, I'm going to make the final transition right here, buying a waffle onto the cow just to buff up the work a little bit further. A melon for the rock as well, just in case uh, things go sour. But uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be winning on this turn. I'm just fishing for yet another cow for hopefully getting the level, but instead we find a zebra. Kind of bad hits right there on the zebra, but it's fine. We're hoping that we win right here. And uh, as it turns out, we get to face a 50-50 team with leopards and uh, an abomination which surely swallowed yet another leopard. So I decided that my mistake was not having the team centered, so we repositioned for the team to be aesthetically pleasing. We're going to roll for some stat foods, picking up the pair right here and hopefully getting some more stat food and we do in the letters. So this is going to be the build, I really hope you enjoyed it, a pretty quick one, and uh, if you did enjoy, I hope that you like, sub, do all the generic stuff, and I will talk to you next time, take care.